Good morning. This morning we're doing a game called Bump Game, and you had this in the uh, papers that I gave your parents or you picked up last week. Um, one side it has the directions and one side it has the game board. So it says each player needs about 10 markers of one color and one copy of the game board with optional answer key. So you don't have the answer key, but um, you can get markers or you can just use a regular marker. Um, I have some colored um, squares, so either one, or you can just use a marker like this, okay? Um, and it says to have the most squares covered by the end of the game, that's the objective. So you roll a pair of dice, so you'll need your dice, and I gave you those in your supply kit as well, and said so determine the sum of the numbers rolled. Find the number that matches the sum of the numbers you rolled, answer or solve the task. Find the answer or solution in one of the circles place your marker on the circle, or you can use just a marker to mark it off. If another player rolls the same sum as you and gets the answer correct, he or she may bump your marker and place his or her marker on the circle. You can protect your circle by rolling the same sum again and placing another marker on top of the existing one. Two markers on the same circle by the same player will protect that player from being bumped. So you can play this with um, a partner at home or you can play it by, uh, by yourself, up to you. Okay. So I'm going to roll the dice first, and I got six. So I'm going to look here at six, and I'm going to try something, find something that's 47 times seven. Well, I know seven times seven is 49, so I might like separate this out into an area model so that I can see um, how this goes. So I'm going to put 40 here and seven there. And then I'm going to put seven here. So I know that this is 280 and I know this is 49. So I know my answer is going to have a nine at the end and eight plus four is 12. So I think it's 329. So I'm going to put a marker there, right there, or I can cross it off like this, put an X there. Okay. So now I'm going to roll again and I get seven. So I'm gonna do that problem here and try to find the answer. And you can play it as bump or you can play it as tic-tac-toe. You can go down, across, over. You can play it with a partner. There's lots of ways to do this to practice uh, double and single digit multiplication, okay? So you're using your dice, you're using the answers here to try to figure out the answers here. Just a fun way to practice multiplication, okay? Have fun with the game and I'll see you at 1130.